Hi everyone, welcome back to Gillian at Mystic Healing Therapies. Well, you can see I'm out and about again. Um, this time I've come for a cycle ride to my local, the nearest local point to where I live. This is called Old Port Stone. So the National Trust look after it, or I call them National Don't Trust these days. Um, and there's no explanation for what it is, but it's just a, sta a stone look you can see. I'll turn it round that way, so you can't see now. Uh, I'll turn it round, look. It's just a stone on its own in the middle of nowhere. They don't really claim to tell you what it's about, but energetically, it's kind of like an energy point. It stands on a ley line that connects up to Dethic, where I did the film with Mark, and there's a few other things if you look um, on the OS map, you can see that there's a few stone circles in that that make like a triangle. So, um, I've come up here a lot because it's only a few miles from where I live. And I've got a very strong connection here with the Druids. Um, I think they used to do pilgrimage. As there is actually a walkway, it's called the Midshire's Way. And it's the spine of like this ley line and it's a very magical place. Um, and this is would have been on it. And I've had a vision of druids coming to do a bit of a pilgrimage in the um in the solstices, both summer and winter, but especially the winter one here. Um it's interesting, a neighbour of mine, she's only just recently opened up to this kind of thing. I gave her my book to read, Enchanted Earth, and then it gave her the confidence to sort of have a chat with me. She'd actually seen um, like a, a, a army come up here, but like in the Civil War type army, she saw that on the Midshire's Way because it's not far from where we live. So there's loads of history all around, but with this stone, quite often what I do is walk round it three times because with it being a small stone, I can energise it quite well. And there's definitely a portal here to other places or not necessarily a portal, but it's definitely where like a landing place um, for the off-worlders. So it's just interesting. Um, yeah, in lockdown, they shut the car park now. I'm going to take you for a walk now. If you have a look, this is how crazy it is. There's a car park at the top and they've not even opened it yet because of COVID security. Better watch what I say because we're on YouTube. But have a look here. Look, we are literally in the middle of nowhere. So how crazy is that? Look, can you see? There's nothing around. So you really are going to catch something really nasty in the middle of nowhere up here, aren't you? You know, and like I say, they're still not open the car park. So here we are, look, the stone. And then, of course, they've put the masks up at the top. They've been there years, to be honest, TV masks. But I think, can you see there? What I think they do with that, it interferes with the energy, doesn't it? Because think about it, this is an important energy line. And they stick those TV masks and laterally the telephone masks. And it kind of, what we know about energy, it kind of captures it or distorts it. They put a different frequency on it. So I think that they've known what they're doing for years. Oh yeah, another point, interestingly on the stone, I don't know if you can zoom in if you're on a laptop. People have put their initials on and there's initials going back to J.A. Potter, 1923. There's some pretty old graffiti up there um but latterly people have painted on it but it never lasts but also people have put tacky um i really i've got an issue with this they put tacky plastic flowers and to me that's just litter you know the way i look at living and life and death yes we've got a life cycle but you know making plastic monuments all over the place it kind of brings the energy down because it's their grief and sorrow you know if you want to leave um if you want to leave some flowers you leave organic ones that will absorb in the earth but please don't keep leaving tacky balloons and plastic stuff on these sites i'm sure these viewers watching this i'm sure you don't but you know it's just one of my 
things. I know I need to let it go and everything, but you know, we're all working on stuff, aren't we? All right, so I just thought I'd share my very local one. I'm off for a bike ride, it's a nice day. If you've not already subscribed to me, please press subscribe and like and share because like I say, it helps to get these messages out to other people. And have a great day, whatever you're doing and send me some, let me know what you're doing in your local area. Okay, lots of love and light to you all. Bye for now. Bye.